this video this video is going to explain or define the word extrapolation and at the end we'll do a quick example in R. I think the easiest definition is predicting the response variable for data outside the range of values of or any of your explanatory variables. The simplest example I often think of is say you have uh, you're measuring a child's height throughout their lifetime. You start at age two and you measure them. Okay, it might be a, two, a tall two year old at one meter high, but let's just go with the example for now. You measure the child at age two to be one meter and at age 20 to be two meters tall. Extrapolation from a linear model would essentially just put a line through the data and say eventually way outside the range of your data, say at like 40, I don't know, I'm making it up, your person would be more than three meters tall. And that seems extraordinary. Where in fact, we probably believe a true representation of what people look like is closer to this line. So it's like this line is out for a linear model predicting above 20. The linear model seems bad. And you might just think, well, a linear model here is bad, but the same idea can happen even if you try to predict outside the range of your data in some other direction. So the general idea is predicting outside of the range of your data is difficult. And if you're not thinking accurately about your data and the context from which your data came, predicting outside of the range of the data is, let's just say, dangerous. It can be done. Often many of the world's problems are interested in this idea. This is kind of the base of what economics tries to do, but it is dangerous and you need to be careful with what type of model you're fitting through the data in order to interpret your predictions accurately. Let's try a quick example in R. I'm going to use, let's see, that looks a little bit better to me. I'm going to use a data set named cars in my GitHub repository under my last name. And I'm going to load two of my favorite libraries in R before I get started. Here is the top of the data set. I'm going to try to create a model where I predict the city miles per gallon of various cars using the weights of the cars. So let's just start as you always should with a plot where we put the explanatory variable on the x-axis and the response variable on the y-axis. And I'll just go ahead and draw the line we will fit ourselves through the data. So here we go. Here is the plot of the model we're going to try to fit. Generally, we see that as the weight of the car increases, the miles per gallon goes down. Now, generally, I like that because that's telling us that the world of physics seems to hold within our data set. Eh, that seems right. If we wanted to fit this model ourselves, we could use the function ln, where we remember linear model as a function takes the miles per gallon, the response variable first, as explained by the explanatory variable weight, using the data set df, and then we can just store the coefficients into a vector named beta. And indeed, we see weight having a negative slope and a positive intercept, which sounds reasonable if cars could weigh zero pounds, but they can't, and that's fine. Now, if we wanted to try to make a prediction at a reasonable value of a car's weight, like a weight we have in our data set, 3000, we're gonna get a reasonable prediction. Like we predict a car that weighs 3000 pounds 
to have a miles per gallon of about 24. However, if we wanted to do the dangerous job of extrapolation, we could try to predict, say, outside the range of our data at the value 6,000. And let's see what value our model predicts here. In this case, if you're, let's say you had a truck weighing 6,000 pounds, the model as it stands predicts you to get negative gas mileage. Well, while that's funny, it's probably not realistic. So you should either recognize that there's clearly some kind of curve to these data and maybe we could fit a better model, or maybe you're satisfied with the linear model through the data you have, but you just recognize that the model is limited in its ability to extrapolate, that is predict outside of the range of the data. Extrapolation is dangerous, but often a very interesting goal in the world around us.